Hello friends, welcome to Seesaw of Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about how to fix the course and uh, allow access origin problem in .NET 6 uh, web API. So let's start. I open my Visual Studio and here I already create a, a one a project for uh, API. This is the uh, sample project for uh, simply a uh, login by matching their username and uh, password on the behalf of these details so i will run this application so uh, here is my idea is to access this uh, uh, login api with uh, another project for one any other static pages so i i also create one uh, sample uh, for static page this is the simple HTML page that uh, accessing that uh, URL that uh, that here we uh, create a U, uh, API for login is like a 7058 and here uh, I will access that so uh, if we run this application so if we access that uh, yeah, login API then this will uh, send a message uh, so a message for uh, course errors so we can check this inside this uh, console that form has been blocked by course policy so for uh, resolving these errors we need to add some more changes in our uh, web api project so first of all uh, we need to here uh, we need to create one more variable like uh, i am getting where uh, where where uh, i am adding any variables like my allow is specific uh, origins origins is equal to and here, uh, here we provide any name like uh, I'm providing it's my allow specific origins and then here uh, we add a here we add a code for uh, uh, for uh, building the services so it's like a uh, builder dot services dot uh, add course add course then uh, here uh, we provide like options 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 and then uh, it's options dot add policy and then here we provide name it's a name like my name is uh, a variable name is uh, my allow specific origins and then uh, we provide policy policy and lambda expressions and then here it's a policy dot with with origins we set here our origin name our origin name is uh, uh, this this project this this is a uh, uh, we copy this name here uh, you can set your actual website names for the main domain so currently this is localhost so i am copy this and paste it this to here and then uh, we here we allow the any headers so you can also specify any specific headers so for example here i am 
adding this uh, any headers and then allow any method any methods name now uh, we add uh, this goes to here before the uh, run application so it's app uh, dot use course and then it's like here we provide uh, our specific uh, course variable so it's uh, my allow specific versions then we save this application so now we run this application so i am pressing ctrl f5 to run this application so now this web server is listening on this port and now i am running this uh, static pages so i'm pressing ctrl f5 this also and then we call that a static page so i'm writing here any username and password I think again this is showing a course message i think something went wrong with our code so i'm going to here and we will uh, remove this slash because this is not required uh, we only uh, require here our domain name so i remove this and again build this application and now i again go to this and i am writing any name your username and password so click on login now this showing a failed message so i already uh, add this message inside this our project uh, web api projects so this failed and success so if i adding uh, in so we enter this uh, correct details like username and password so i am enter it here it's uh, admin and admin one two three so i'm pressing login this then this will show a success message so uh, this will already add to here yeah the when username and password is matched so this is the complete code uh, for uh, resolving the course and access control issues so this changes is required uh, in your existing apis like we uh, creating one variables then we add a uh, services for that course and then we add that course before uh, our run method so this is the complete code and if you have any questions any problem please write in comment box i will reply you soon and if you like my videos please click on subscribe button and for latest update also click on notification bell so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session